Hey boys and welcome back to another Bleach Very Soul video today. You already know what it is, the gameplay, sorry, not the gameplay, but the stats and everything related to the anniversary, or at least some of the events that we're going to get in, should be announced in game right now. I know for a fact Thousand Year Blood War Round 7 has been officially announced. So what we're going to be doing today is <laughs> see if Ichibe has Flurry. That's literally the whole point of the video. Does Ichibe have Flurry? If he doesn't, I will sell a character. <laughs> I was gonna say I'll do a face reveal, but I don't want to. I want to play it safe, right? Just in case he doesn't have Flurry. But here we go. Thousand Year Blood War Round Seven characters are coming soon. Let's click on that. Did I just see Renji Epic Raid? Excuse me. Hold wait, hold on. That's gonna be hype. Okay, here we go. We have the step up. Let's check out the characters now. I'm gonna skip past the first text because I want to see if he has Flurry. Let's go. He has Flurry, boys. Let's go. I said it, bro. I said it, bro. And oh lord, he has a spider killer. They actually did it. Holy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Caleb. Poise. Pierce Breaker. Flurry. Start Barrier. Paralysis Duration minus 100%. They dead ass just made him a Noi Tora killer. Is that really what Ichibe is? And he, okay, we got that right. So he has a strong attack recharge link, but he does have 40% bruiser. He does have guard break and then Orihime. Let's see if anything is good about her. Recharge, berserker, bruiser, frenzy, devastation, medic, healer. Sorry, what? Oh, the fillers. Ooh, that's decent. And people are right. People said that. People guessed we would get Fazi Battle round three and Yachiru from round two as a filler. This is good. So I'm one, two, three, four out of 12. Hey, no, five out of 12. Five out of 12, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. All right, let's go up. I want to reread this. I want to read this stuff. Okay. Pierce barrier. Characters with pierce barrier ignore the enemy barriers. However, their attacks do not reduce the amount of barriers the enemy has. Hmm. Ichibe, bro. Slow down. Okay, let's read this. <sighs> Ichibe Hiyosobe, if I'm probably butchering the name, controller of all black in the world. Ichibe is a melee non-attack character with the Aspada kill ability. All of his attacks, except his first strong attack, have a chance to inflict weaken, which combines excellently with his flurry and poise skills. He also becomes armed with start barrier plus 10 and the new pierce barrier skill, which gives him the ability to harm enemies even when they have a barrier activated. Finally, he can also unlock prices immunity. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, I don't know how I feel. Okay, so I said, so I said on the live stream a few days ago that I don't feel like he's going to be re replacing Chad. And I'm sorry that I have a 5 out of 5 Chad, but he dead ass looks like he's going to be replacing Chad. That's mad. Um, do I think he's game breaking? No? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see about it. We'll see about it. Or he may determine... Wait. Okay, I went too fast. Never mind. I went to Namaya wielding a sword that is one swing and one kill. Namaya is a mini non-attack character with a sorry Oh, sorry, Po. Ooh. Okay. That's good. That's good. His unlockable skills are Flurry and Enhancer, the second which increases the duration of his boost strong attack. Uh, that also surrounds him in an aura of a spiritual presence with the Vortex, basically. Uh, that's not all, though. His special move has a chance to instant kill, and he also unlocks Guard Break and Paras' immunity, making him adept at craving, at carving through huge swaths, waves? I've never seen that word before, of enemies, and extremely useful in any quest with a lot of Paras' reducing hazards. Okay. And then Orihime, which just looks like a standard character, just standard SP character, is a ranged strong attack character with holo kill ability. Orihime's second strong attack is a combined barrier and heal. She can unlock medic, healer, and frenzy, making her excellent support character. She also unlocks weakened defense to add an extra dimension to her special ability. Uh, real quick, what is that special... Healer? What is that link? What does healer do? Okay, so I just checked on BBS Reddit. So the healing, the healer skill increases the amount of heal that she gives to us, or the, your, herself and the team. And then the medic, obviously, which turns her heal into a team heal. Uh, okay, I mean, they could have just made her 
a team healer. They didn't need to give her the medic skill, but okay. And the healer skill, I think that's new. I don't, I don't know if we've had that before, but hey, that's all right. But yeah, I'm, this is this is looking like a good ban, honestly. But yeah, so if you're just looking for a breakdown of the fillers, Ichigo round three, Ichigo is okay. He's he's definitely usable, but you know what? Um, he's been he's also been sitting in my box for the last like two, a year and a half, so he might get some use. If you don't have him, he's still a good character to have, nonetheless. Rukia is okay. She's a bit outdated now. Her second strong like isn't really the best. Renji by far to this day still the best power and ranker killer in the game, so he does have some use. You definitely want to go for him. Uh, Yachiru is just a link, so if you pull her six times and you get 500 SP, then she's gonna be the best link in the game. So. You know, there's that, right? Pulling Deezus is actually somewhat decent. And also, it's also for collection, right? You kind of want to get all Thousand Blood Blood characters, so don't moan if you get a new Thousand Blood Blood character, even though this Yachidu is completely useless. Uh, Zangetsu is okay. He's okay. There's bell alternatives, but there's nothing really wrong with him. Shinji, eh. A bit, yeah. You know, just all right. Uh, Loopy, a bit underrated. Loopy's good. It's just that there's better characters, so, you know, he doesn't get really get talked about much. And then Jushiro, uh, he's okay. I I want him, so I I actually do uh, do want to put him. And then Shinsui, Shinsui's been a lot of banners, so I'm sure you already have him. He's okay. He has poise. He's a decent night character without flurries, so that's pretty much all to say about the banner. It's looking good. I'm excited. I told you, let's have hope. is going to have flurry, and that's exactly what happened. And Nemaya... Got a 40% bruiser. <laughs> okay. That's crazy. I'm excited, but... I'm, I'm I'm interested to see what Ichibei is going to do in the PvP mail. Like, this is a full-on Noitoro. Not not a full-on Noitoro kind of, because he's not purple. But maybe that's a better thing. Because also, he like, you can see that he's a sorry per squad zero. Same goes for Namaya. Sorry per squad zero. So he's not a captain. And he has a spider killer. That's That's crazy. Alright, moving on, because we also do have some other news in-game. So, we actually have a new epic raid, which I believe is Renji. It's actually Renji. That's cool. Renji has a shielded special move, a super attack that hits the entire arena. While charging his attack, Renji erects a shield that must be destroyed to prevent the attack from triggering. Okay. This is cool. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, so we have, uh, I have Stark. That's good. I don't technically need to pull Namaya now. I have my Yuri. And this is... Finally, we have an epic raid where we can actually use killers that aren't holo killers. So, my Yuri is actually going to be going to be really good in this. Stark, not so much. Namaya will be the better character here. Uh, Nemu. Hmm. I, I'm transcending her. So, that's good. Uh, Ichibe. Kione. Who, what, does, what does Kione have as a, as, as, a, as, a, as a killer? I have no idea. So I'm missing a killer in blue and mine. So I actually kind of want to pull Ichibe and I kind of want to pull that uh, Tensor. Uh, if I don't have blues, who do I use? Okay, I can use Momo. And for mine, I can use... Well, I'm not using that Momo, so I I, I hope <laughs> I hope I pull that Tensor or that Zangetsu. So that's cool. So yeah, like I said, we're finally getting epic raids that aren't hollows. And this also sets up the fact maybe we can get some... Oh, wait, what pair are we getting? We're getting a Renji familiar. No way. <laughs> that's jokes. I want to see that. Hopefully that was data mined. Hey, that's cool. Maybe one day we can get an Aaron Yellow one, right? Um, there's been a talk, you know, in the community that people want Aaron Yellow, or that he has a chance to be one because he can work decently well. Like, he can be in his glutton area form and just sit in the middle and do attacks. If that ever happened, oh, that'd be sick. But that's cool. We're finally getting epic rates on hollows. I'm down for that. Moving on. We also do have, which, you know, I guessed it, I guess, uh, Acid Wire is coming back, which means 300 orbs. That's 400 orbs on reset, lads. So 200 from the Awakened Epic Raid for Acid Wire, 100 for the Acid Wire, just normal Epic Raid, and then Renji should also give us 100 orbs. So boom, 400 orbs from that, 250 from Story, probably 100 and something from the event. We're getting orbs, lads. We're getting orbs. This is good. And that's about it. Okay, now if we go into the characters here, sort by, now filter. There it is, Quincy, look at that. Look at that, there's my Quincy characters. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me quickly just check on Reddit again to see if there's anything I missed. 
Yo, real quick, I'm recording this in post, so I'm already editing the video, I already finished the video. I just saw on Discord, bro, they're changing the individual banners. Okay, so the individual banners now have a 5% rate, with obviously 5 characters, so now you have a 1% chance to get one character each, which is 5 characters. Uh, th this is a big improvement, so no more do we have trashy 3% banners for individual banners for these limited time characters. Now it's actually 5%, which is a good and bad thing. Um, it's good, which now means if you are putting on the mana, you have a better chance to get at least something. But it's also worse now that you might be getting more fire stars than you actually do get the character that you want. So you might get baited more to some extent. But there's also step five gives you a guaranteed five star. So you have a one in five chance to get who you want on the fifth multi. That's only 1,250 orbs. That's really, really good. Okay, Caleb, this is uh, this is actually a good improvement. And I hope this sticks around because this is very good for going for individual characters. Because you might knock out. You might just do that fifth mode and get him on the guaranteed. It's one out of five. Like, it's not the best chance. But you know what? That's really good. I'm excited. This is good. A good improvement to the game. Thank you, Caleb. Now let's go back to the video. All right. So there's actually a new event. Con's Guide to Squad Zero. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the bonus units are on screen right now. So we have... So I have Ichigo, I have Kimpachi, I have both Kimpachis, I also have Nelio. Yeah, I'm fine, I have four bonuses then, or five, no, six bonuses, ooh. So I don't even need to pull, technically, but you know, we're still gonna pull anyway. All in, baby, you know it, down to zero. Four K orbs, I'm ready. Uh, so yeah, that event's cool. Moving on, we have uh, Senkamon, it returns on the 31st, so it's back, straight away. That means more orbs. Bro, that's like a thousand orbs on reset. That's insane. That street, that... Yo, this stream that I'm about to do on the anniversary is going to be long. Like this is this is this is this is good. Like I'm starting here because this is this is, whoa. <laughs> like at least a thousand plus obs on reset. Imagine we got co-op reset too. I doubt it, but <laughs> yo, yo. Uh, moving on, we have a New Year's a pack. Oh, okay. Holy, I might have to buy that. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a 80 pounds pack good lord it's a so i'm looking at red right now it's uh it, riddler says it's a golden and a seasonal packs so are 80 pounds new year pack is eight pound and accessory pack is 24 pound the golden seasonal and new year's pack features a choose a five star character depending on what character i can get i'm gonna be buying that i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie um choose a seasonal I'm interested to see what the Philippo is. Okay. Uh, this is a well pack though, so this is like big money well pack. Oh, oh lord. Oh lord. And then next up we have the support pack, which is 71 orbs and a 5 star ticket. That's going to be cheap. Yeah, 12 pounds. Oh. Okay, well there you go lads. You can get a 12 pound pack. Bro, Caleb. <laughs> We're going to be doing hella summons, bro. That stream, okay, obviously, when I say that stream, I'm going to be streaming on the anniversary when it does drop. There's going to be so much stuff to do. I'm probably going to buy all these packs. Whew. Well, there you have it, guys. That was... That was the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think about the characters in the comments below. Do the banner, all the stuff that's dropping out, or dropping on, you know, in a few days. I'm excited. We're going to be streaming. Six-hour stream, seven-hour stream. I don't know. But we will, uh, we will see. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did... Much love, much love, much love, blah, 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 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.